Bye, Margarita. All right, yeah, so the Pizza Boys are back, and uh, this time we got La Margarita, in honor of, uh, like I said, Dr. K, the French teacher, requested this one. Uh, this is located in Medford, so uh, first look. Looks like a solid pie. No, nothing too special yet, but uh, we're gonna get into it. Uh, pizza in hand, one bite, everybody knows the rules. Uh, yeah, so we were actually just talking about this uh, off camera. We all think this is up there with some of the best buys we've done this year. Uh, rather K, you're doing it right, honestly. To get into the rating, one out of ten, Jake. What are we thinking? Uh, you know, whenever I go to the rating, I feel very nervous on what to give it based on previous performances. That being said, I think I'm gonna go seven to eight. It's a little too oily for me. A little too uh, too much oil going on there, but uh, I think it's a great buy, Kern. Yeah. Um, I mean, we go one bite out of the real pizza, one bite out of the crust, and it's all pretty symmetrical, honestly. I usually like a little bit more crispy crust and a little bit more of a floppy uh, actual piece of the pizza. But um, overall, it's a good pizza, I think. Uh, I disagree with Jacob on the oil, but I'm going to have to give this thing like a 7-3. Wow, I like it a lot. I like it as an 8. 8 out of 10. I mean, it's just perfectly balanced. It's up there with you know the other pizza we've done yet. Yeah. <laughs> now I like it a lot. Yeah, I'll go hit it. All right, so as we send you guys off, we we'll first want to thank Colin for replacing his brother Riley in the Pizza Boy action. Um, overall, we all think it was pretty good pizza. That was great. Thanks for the suggestion. But we need more suggestions. What places do you think is the best pizza? So we can go out there and really uh, see if you're see if you're right. Yeah, make sure you DM BHS underscore TV on Instagram. Tell us where to go. We'll give it a review. We'll give you a shout out. And for more next week, tune in. We hope you guys like that pizza review. Now for an interview with Mr. Rojas about his taco eating competition. Yeah, and right after that, we're sending you over to BHS TV in Espanol. What's up, Belport? I'm here with Belport's most notorious competitive eater, Mr. Rojas. How's it going, guys? Mr. Rojas, for those of you that don't know about what competitive eating is, can you tell them a little bit about what this is? No, basically, you try to eat as much uh, food as possible, depending on what it is, in a certain amount of time. So in this one, we had seven minutes to eat as many tacos as we could. That's pretty much it. Yeah. You just eat a lot. Of you, you, and there's techniques, too, that you would have to use. For example, in this one, I used one hand to try to shovel the taco inside while sipping on water to try to keep it down at the same time. So you multitask? Yes, you, well, I tried. And this is something new to me. I've never done tacos before, but we got the W, we got the win. Yeah, that's good. You just mentioned right there, you got the win. Mm -hmm. um, what, what happened in this win and what was it all about? Uh, so this was actually kind of like the semifinals. We had top two competitors from each Del Fuego to meet in the finals, that's in two weeks. So that's that, and I got uh, $110 to Del Fuego and a huge inflatable chair and a shirt. Wow, yeah. so uh, what's next for you after this? Are you gonna try experimenting with different foods or are you gonna keep going with the tacos? Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to keep eating beef tacos so that I get used to the beef, because once you have more than a pound inside of you, it starts to become disgusting. And then a couple of days before the finals, I'm gonna have to enlarge my stomach as much as I can so that I can fit more. The aim, 15, 20 tacos in seven minutes. Wow, that's outstanding. Is there anything that you want people to know about competitive eating and really um, really take into account that it's not just shoving food in your mouth, or it might be? I mean, you can't really just shove. You have to be able to chew, swallow, drink at the same time without choking. Um, and also, a side note, if you do become a competitive eater, if you do, let's say, this taco competition, you really might not want to enjoy tacos afterwards. You might not have to get like, you know, the same taste for it. So yeah, be careful with that. Thank you for coming on. That's it for the interview with Mr. Rojas. We're gonna send it on over to BHS TV, Espanol. All right. That's fine.
Cool. Estamos ahora con Mr. Rojas. Ah, pues díganos que todos lo conocen. Um, es muy famoso por aquí, ¿ok? Uh, ayer participó en una competencia de tacos. Y queríamos saber cómo les fue. ¿Cómo te fue, Mr. Rojas? Se fue muy bien. Empezó muy, tú sabes, muy fuerte, pero... Tú sabes, después de como tres minutos, bueno, yo tenía siete minutos para comer tacos, cuanto yo podía, pero cuando, después de cinco estaba muy difícil y tú sabes, ahora después de cinco es más despacio, despacio, como yo no podía tener sí. mucho espacio ahí, pero tuvo bien, ganó. Bueno, qué bien, ¿no? Un aplauso para Mr. Rojas. ¿Qué ganas? Uh, ayer, bueno, well, el martes ganó, uh, gané 110 dólares, pero solamente con el restaurante ahí. Um, un silla con aire muy grande oh. y una camisa creo que, y, y meto de, lo, de los finales. Creo que tenemos que empezar a participar en eso, a mí me interesa, pero no puedo, estoy muy cargada, no me cabe nada. Um, Rojas, al final, ¿cuánto fue por todo lo que comiste? Yo solamente podía poner adentro 11 tacos, pero para las finales yo quiero a, a comer casi 15 hasta 20. ¿Y tienes que practicar para eso o simplemente? Entren, entrenando mucho, mija. Yo necesito comer mucho antes de la competición y durante las do, do, dos semanas. Oh, my God. ¿Y cómo haces? ¿En todo el día comes algo antes de la competencia o no comes? Antes yo voy a comer mucho para que, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Engordar mi estómago uh -huh. para tener más espacio ahí. Oh. Y también comiendo carne, carne, carne. So yo puedo, tú sabes, tener ganas para comer carne. Uh, esa es muy buena estrategia, yo nunca había pensado en eso. Bueno, con esto se finaliza nuestro, uh, nuestra, ¿qué se puede decir? Mini entrevista. Pero antes de todo, vamos a poner un clip de la competencia. Hey, this is BHS TV en español. My name is Kevin and I would like to ask um, the coaches about the incoming spring sports. So let's go check them out. Uh, what, what is your name? Uh, my name is Mr. Jennings. Um, what sport do you coach? Okay, I coach the varsity uh, tennis boys and girls teams. What, what do you love about the sport? The sport is one of these sports that you can take into your adulthood. You can play it until you can't stand anymore. You can play it into your 70s and 80s. Okay, it's a fun game. Um, and, you know, those who are trying out, I just hope that they have a good time. I also hope that we win some, but, you know, That's our, our season this year was two wins and eight losses. And we had a great time the entire time for the girls. Boys starts uh, April 26th. So anybody who wants to come out, try out, that would be great. What is your guys' names? Um, what sport do you guys coach? So I'm Miss Williams and we coach girls spring track and winter track. I'm a starty. Yeah, together, together for two seasons. Um, what do you guys love about the sport? Oh, I love that there's so many different opportunities, so many different events. Um, you know, everybody can find their own space, even if you're not a, a runner, but you're a jumper, or if you're not a jumper, you're a thrower. I think it 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 just creates a lot of opportunities for a lot of people. Um, I definitely agree, and I like to get. Uh, to know all of the girls on a very personal level. Um, we're kind of, you know, you're around each other all the time. You start joking with each other and confiding in each other and just really building these awesome relationships that kind of go beyond the student teacher, um, just classroom academic type of conversations. Um, is there anything else to say? Um, I just, I, Lori, I love that your response that you get the version of, you know, Coach Williams and you get the version of Mrs. Williams and that relationship on the team with the girls is something special. And, and I, I, I'm echoing what you just said. <laughs> yeah. Check starts yeah. Monday. So come join. Yay. Thank you so much. Um, uh, thank you so much for talking to us. <laughs> You're hey, so you're welcome, welcome, Kevin. <laughs> What is your name? My name is Glenn McAvoy. Uh, what sport do you coach? I coach the varsity girls golf team, and I also do the middle school football team. Um, what do you like about this? What do you love about the sport? Let's see. Golf is one of the sports I can go get peace and quiet on a golf course. 
turn my phone off and have no one bother me for about four to five hours. Even if I can't hit the little white golf ball, doesn't make a difference. I don't have anyone bothering me on a golf course, peace and quiet. And then when the round is over, I turn my phone on, you get 100 messages. Hey, what have you been doing? I'm like, I'm on the golf course. I just don't want to be bothered. You get peace and quiet. Plus, you know, I've been doing it now over, I've been playing golf for over 30 years. So gives me uh, plus when I travel, gives me something to do when I travel places. I play golf. I played golf courses in Ireland, um, Paris, Germany, um, Las Vegas, North Carolina. So I've gone all over and you can play all sorts of golf courses. So uh, and the Dominican Republic, I've played a few places. So, you know, it just just gives you something else to do uh, while you're on vacations. Uh, is there like anything else you have to say? Um, I've been coaching the team, the high school girls team. Now, this is my 11th year. So this year is one of the bigger teams. I have I have 15 girls on the golf team. So that uh, that doesn't happen often that I have, you know, more than maybe nine or 10. So I'm able to have 15 this year. However, though, I lose six because I have uh, actually seven. I have seven seniors this year. So and a few of them have been with me since seventh grade. So they've been playing uh, for about six, seven years. So, you know, we, we should be OK this season. We should have some fun. Um, thank you so much um, for talking to us. You are welcome. You guys can come here anytime. OK. It's Joe Murphy and I'm the baseball coach. I've played it since I was a little kid, and I just it, – it's just a great game. You know, I really enjoy playing. You know, it's, it's a competition level. You know, it's a one-on-one -on -one pitch against batter. It's really a – it's really a fun sport, I think. Not to everybody, but, you know, it's – I enjoy it.